Hello, also in last video we saw how can we call data integration REST APIs in order to fetch metadata information such as connection, mapping and mapping task. Now in this video we are going to see how can we call task flow with the help of REST APIs, IICS REST APIs. Now in the case of power center we used to call uh, workflows with the help of PMCMD start workflow command. Now in case of IICS, we don't have that PMCMD command anymore and they have given more flexibility rather. So we can call these task flows with the help of REST APIs which they have provided. Now let's go to the documentation first. So this is the URL or if you just Google it like how to call task flow with the help of REST APIs, you will come across this URL and I have opened this page here. So what they are saying is they have given the, they have mentioned the steps here one by one. So after creating a task flow, go to task flow properties. So the very first step which we have to do is we have, we need a task flow. So what I will do is, so for the sake of this video, I'm going to create a mapping task first of our, this mapping, uh, Java transpose, right? So what this mapping used to do is, it used to transpose, so this is our source and this is the target. So it, it used to transpose the data from rows to columns, right? Right, so I will use same mapping. Okay, so let me open the mapping and let me go ahead and uh, new mapping task. Java trans transpose, right? So I will give the same name mapping task java task transpose all right click next uh, runtime environment for the mapping task if no runtime environment okay i did not mention the runtime environment next this is all default value i don't want to change anything here all right so the mapping task got created. Let me just quickly validate. So I will go to explore and I can see the mapping task. Now, in order to run uh, those, uh, in order to use the API, we need task flow. So let's go ahead and create the task flow as well. So what I will do, I will click on a new, go to task flow, task flow, create. And I will give the task flow name something like this task flow mapping task okay so basically task flow is calling this mapping task all right now in the task flow we have supposed to call this mapping task so I will just drag this data task oops and I will just give that mapping task name there and uh, we are supposed to call this mapping task there are no input fields nothing remaining everything is constant all right i'll just save it now our task flow is saved our task flow is created so let's look at the second step after creating a task flow properties go to start add the allowed user okay allowed groups allowed users and allowed groups that can start the task flow and save the task. So now let me go to, let me minimize this and I will go to the start. And this is where they are asking to use the allowed user or allowed groups. Okay, so I will, uh, there are no groups. So I will just add my ID. Let me add my ID here also. All right, I will just, save that i mean even if we don't add it here that's fine i will close it anyway that was wrong so let's see what happens shop groups i just put that as allowed users now the third step what they are saying is after saving the task flow publish the task uh, publish publish it basically this is to generate the service apis okay and once it gets published go to the property details and over there we'll get to see this service url Okay, and basically that service URL we are supposed to use. So we are supposed to pass uh, this publish URL as a post method, post call, uh, with the help of uh, with, 
with the help of postman so that is the tool we are using okay so let me publish it first okay now as as they are saying go to properties detail and i will simply copy this url okay so this is the url uh, which we sub supposed to call if we want to trigger this task flow okay with the api now what other things they are saying is they are asking to pass this three parameter okay pass the header as id session id id as session id now how we'll get that uh, uh, value for this session ID so you need to call login API remember in last video in order to get that session ID we call this same login API so uh, in order to call this guy in order to trigger the workflow we first need this session ID information so what I will do I will call the same login API first okay so let me go back to and it was a post method okay and in the body i supposed to pass this json and that should give me the session id information this is the one okay now let me call this guy and this is again a post call let's see yeah that's a post call okay and in header information we supposed to pass this parameter and value for this is session id so let's see what happens should not take this long something might be wrong let me go back yeah okay it's running let me go back to my yeah see maybe I yeah this is the one it's currently running it inserted six rows but thing is my table already had six records what i will do i will first truncate the table so now i don't have any records and let me trigger the workflow again the task flow okay let me go back it is running currently perfect and let me go back yes so basically in this video we just saw how can we call a task flow with the help of rest apis of data integration perfect so let's let's reiterate like what we did the very first thing is we created the task flow after that uh, before publishing that task flow uh, we just assigned the user right so I added my name there then we publish that and once we publish just have to go to the property details tab so let me go back okay this is the task flow and if we go to property details tab just have to use this URL and uh, with the help of so we are, I am using postman you can use any tool so with the help of postman you just have to pass this session ID uh, this value for this session ID you will get it get by calling that login API and then if you it's a post method and if you click or uh, click on send the workflow will get trigger or task flow will get trigger it ran I guess let me try one more time yeah it's running alright so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video